Whew. Coming from work, took a couple hours nap and got up because it is amazing out. It's only supposed to get 74 for a high. We got cloud cover. It might rain off and on, but this is just, if it don't set in, just pouring the rain. This is just amazing for snakes. Well, I'm here at the house. I'm gonna flip a couple things before I leave and then I'm gonna head out, do some road cruising, flip some stuff. Like I said, it's just, it's perfect out. So we'll see what I can find. Well, I said it was perfect out. And there's a milk snake on the crawl in my yard. Lampropeltis triangulum. Big pretty milk out on the crawl. Check this out. There's my house. There's the snake. That is cool, you know, when I actually walked through here a second ago, I thought I smelled musk. I must have stepped on him. I mean, I actually, while I was videoing, I got, I stopped talking because I thought I'd smelled it, but I didn't say anything. I was like, that's weird. I haven't handled a snake yet. But I, I really thought I smelled musk, honestly, right when I was walking right through here. And then I come back walking up through here after not flipping nothing. And boom, big milk snake. That's just awesome. I'm going to take a picture or two and uh, let him go on his business. Hey, he's in my yard. He's more than welcome to be here. Let's take some pictures. So, yeah, I'm going down the road now. And, uh, you know, that milk snake just confirms what I was saying. You know, that the weather is just perfect for this today to see stuff out on the crawl. It's, it's not really hot you know and we got a lot of cloud cover that's also a new species for my yard so that's a plus and you might think i'm crazy but i swear right where i found that thing that when i came through the first time i was like why am i smelling musk it's like my clothes are clean i've not handled a snake this is not you know left over from something and i was like oh maybe i'm just imagining things and I went on about my business and when I come back there he was I just couldn't see him in the grass I guess when I went through but anyway we're gonna get out here and hit it see what we can find there's a little slimy salamander how you doing bud good looking little guy I'm gonna go on and leave him alone cool to see Late in the year, seeing salamanders. My neck has flipped. We've been seeing lots of these guys lately, though, so just thought I'd show you real quick. Now I'm going to keep on moving. See what we can find. All right, we got this small common snapping turtle out of the road. This is like the nicest snapper I think I've ever found. He's really, really chill. Or sh she, I don't really, let's see. Might be a female, I don't know a lot about him. But found him on the road up there past the little store you can see the back of there and uh he was headed this way so we're gonna let him go right here i'm gonna let you watch common snapper small one we're gonna let him let's see i want him to be safe i'm gonna put him on the side i think 
get my feet wet. <laughs> All the things I do for reptiles. There you go, Bubby. I think he'll be. I think he'll be all right right here. It's not. Predators ain't gonna get him. I mean, he is chill. He ain't even took off. Go on, Bubby. You can take off. Well, if you don't want to, maybe put you right there. And you do what you do. Well, out riding the razor, I've not found a single snake. But I stopped here at a friend's while he was riding, doing stuff. He's got some stuff I flip. And uh, I always remove everything I find from here. But I uh, flipped a piece of tin and got that. Copper noggin number two. That is a pretty snake. Look at them hourglasses, Hershey Kisses, whatever you want to call it. That copper head. Mm. That's a pretty snake. Anyway, I gotta finish flipping this stuff and go. All right. So I found this racer at my buddies, and I actually, for once, have somebody with me to to film. But it's really, really hard to film a racer one-handed. Buddy, that bucket they give us. You about can't get that off. You talk about a lockdown lid. There it is. This guy's in shed. And of course he's being a racer. Super uh, defensive. But I'm going to get him out and uh, you'll see he's in shed. Uh, first racer in hand. And I noticed something recently. I seen a new range map. I've always called them Northern Black Racers. But now, the range map I've seen, I'll try to insert it, is calling them Southern Blacks. I'll insert a picture of that. But we're going to get this fast boy out. He's ready to go. He's lightning. He's so mad. Makes it hard to support his body real well. Oh, you're going to get me, huh, Bubby? i got to try to hold him in the middle. Oh, he's musking. Their bite's not horrible. It just sucks to get bit over and over again. I love them. I love it when I get a calm one. Look, he's looking for me. He's trying to get my face. All right, Bubby. We're going to let you go. He's going to shoot off and be gone. Check him out. Go on. And he's gone. That's it. Just recording here to give you a peek of what we're doing. We let that racer go. And I set up a new tin site and wood site for fall. Hopefully by fall it'll be real nice. I've got permission to do whatever I want on this property because I removed snakes for them. But this far enough away from the house, they don't care for me to set up stuff to catch snakes, to draw them. So in the razor, this is what we're doing. Hi, honey. All right, so for this copperhead release, I'm going to try something different. I bought this selfie stick, and I'm going to try to get you some up-close video of him. I'm adjusting it. Bear with me. I'm going to sit you down for a second. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. Let me move him into the shade or something. Here. Don't you bite me. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. They would have killed you where you were at. There he is. But I'm going to get him out and get some good video of him here if I can. Let's try it. Got to have my hook. Oh. Yeah, we're going to get this boy out. Let's see what kind of video we can get. Come on, Bubby. All right. Uh, look at him.
me work him out here. Come here, Bob. Oh, you're all right. Oh, you're gonna get defensive? It's okay. There we go, out and open. Now let's see what we can get. There he goes. I've got him up here in an old abandoned church they don't use anymore. It's by the wood lines here. And he'll be fine. I might have to do a little editing to make this look good, but look at that. Oh, rattling that tail. It's all right, bub. Copperheads can be so jumpy. They're just nervous. Anyway, I was hoping he'd cool up and I'd get you some real good shots of him, but he's just wanting to take off. So we're gonna end this here. There's copper noggin release. Relocation and release. pieces over here. Let's see if we can get anything. Let's check for ticks after we're coming. <laughs> I have a big Lone Star tick on me. I'm going to do that piece last coming out. So I'll wait on you to get in here. I've got two pieces right here. Let's see if you can... Nothing under that part. Something's living there. Oh, yes. Ooh, nothing but it's got holes. Something's using it. Got a piece over here. Nothing. I got two pieces out here and that one over there. Got this piece. Nice holes. Could uh, have a snake. I got a piece of tin out here. Always looking. Stuff out on the crawl too. This piece of tin is probably really hot right now. I doubt there's anything under this. Pretty hot. And we got one more. I saved the best one for last. It produces the most. I lose you. <laughs> Let's see. Nobody home. Well, huh? All right. It. All right, we got something neat here. This is probably going to be the last find for this video. He's so tiny, I had to bring him up on this concrete here so that uh, he wouldn't disappear. But here you go. This is really neat. This is the uh, Eastern New Red F stage. This is their terrestrial stage. It's the second out of three stages of their life. <laughs> And for three, four, five years, they live on land like this. This one must not been on land very long because he is tiny. Look at that. And they're just so pretty. 
they're bright orange like this to try to tell them stuff to stay away. My dogs are barking at the newt. I found him in my backyard. <laughs> He's taking off. He's little. Don't go to the dogs. The dogs will eat you, buddy. I'm going to let him go, though. I found him in the backyard. Cool. Well, the dogs absolutely were ruining that little spot there. I'm going to leave it in just because before they started barking when they seen it, we got some pretty good little footage there. But uh, red F-stage Eastern Newt Terrestrial. Like I was saying, they're bright colored like this to tell stuff to stay away because they're uh, actually kind of toxic. Nothing really harmful to humans. I think the worst thing I ever got was I handled a big one and rubbed my eye and it burned and that was it. But I looked a little more, I, I got that range map for the racer. And yeah, we're really, it really is like real close. I'm going to insert it. it. We're almost in an integrated zone of northern and southern, but it looks like Clay County is the southern. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to let this guy go. I actually was uh, just messing around in the yard uh, when I found him and I was like, neat. Because he is like so cute and pretty, so little. And it's really neat that they have three different life stages and they look totally different in every stage. He'll keep them little red dots and that's about it. I've posted newts before. But this looks like a pretty good area to let him go. I'm not but a few feet from where I found him. So. Well. I thought maybe turning the cup over. We'll turn it sideways here. This is the problem with filming everything yourself. And there he is. Red F to Eastern Newt. And that's, like I said, probably going to be all for this episode. So, this is Joe with Kentucky Field Herbin, signing off.